So when you're out with a woman, whether it's someone you're just getting to know, or someone you're dating, there's this moment, right? It's not like a conscious thought, more like a vibe she picks up on. She's wondering, am I taking the lead here or is he leading the way? Because let's be real. What really attracts a woman is being with a guy who's strong, dominant, and, you know, masculine. Now the question is, how do you show that dominant masculine energy? That's what we're diving into today. I want to share with you five traits, five ways to really show the dominant energy when you're hanging out with a woman. Because let's be honest, that's like one of the most attractive things you can put out there for a woman. Now, when I'm chatting with my buddies or explaining this whole concept to someone who might not quite get it yet, here's the deal. Being masculine isn't about fitting into some stereotypical alpha mold. It's not just about looking tough like a bodybuilder or a biker. I mean, I get it. It can be confusing. I was confused too when I first heard about it. And judging by the comments I get, a lot of guys are in the same boat, especially when people see some dudes who might seem a bit softer in their facial features. They jump to conclusions, right? Label them as beta instead of alpha males. But here's the real deal. I've seen plenty of guys who look all tough, big with tattoos and everything. But when they're with a woman, they crumble. It's like they turn into little boys shedding tears into their beer. So being masculine is not just about the exterior. It's not about looking the part. It's about the vibe you throw out there. It's about the mindset you bring to the table, especially when you're dealing with women. Now, here's another thing I always mention. To really drive this point home and paint a clear picture, think about two animals for a sec, like a kitten and a tiger. Ever wonder why the tiger commands more respect? It's pretty straightforward. The tiger is way harder to tame, harder to control. Now let's relate this to women. They're not looking for an easily controlled kitten. They want the challenge of a tiger, something that takes time to tame. So the question is how do you become that tiger? We're diving into five steps, five tactics, and five mindsets for you to start working on when you're around women. But hey, these mindsets aren't just for your dating game. They're solid in business situations too. Whether you're in a work environment or dealing with clients, bosses, everyone, these mindsets project that strong, masculine vibe that gets respect across the board. Let's talk about the first trade, the willingness to walk away. I always say you've got to show that you're willing to walk away. Now, this is a little trick. My buddies and I picked up back in college. We used to throw these parties at our place. And there was this move we called the walk away. Here's the deal if you're having a good chat and you drop a casual hey, I'm going to catch up with some friends. Catch you later and then reconnect with her later on. It's like magic. Her interest level spikes. Because you've shown, you're not going to be hanging on to her all night. You become that tiger a bit harder to tame. And that, my friend, is the move. So this whole concept of walking away and showing that you're ready to walk away, there are a bunch of ways to pull it off. One simple way is by not showing too much interest or giving your stamp of approval for everything. You know what I mean. A lot of guys, especially when they're with a woman they find attractive, they're scared to show disapproval or boredom. It's like they're afraid to let her know. If they're not impressed with something she says, take for example, if she's telling a story and it's not really up to your standards, maybe she's going on about cheating at something. And the typical nice guy might be like, oh, that's so cool. But if you genuinely think it's not cool, you call her out on it. Why? Because it shows her you're not willing to put up with that kind of behavior that you've got standards, and you're ready to walk away if things don't align. 
Now the second thing I want to talk about, and it kind of ties into the first one, is demonstrating boundaries. So what are boundaries? They're like these internal and external rules you set for yourself. Let me break it down. For instance, a woman might have a boundary not to dive into the intimacy zone on the first date, and you've got to respect that. But here's the interesting part. When she lays down that boundary, there's this part of you that actually respects her more. She becomes more desirable because she's not just crumbling and changing her mind. Based on attraction right, she's got the strong boundary. Now as guys, we want to roll with similar vibes, whether it's in our dealings with her or just navigating life in general. That's the game plan. Let her put in a little effort to impress you or earn your approval. That's the real essence of being masculine. If you're vibing with this video, show some love hit that like button. It's not just for me. It's for the other guys out there who need this info. Cause let's be real. Being masculine isn't about putting on a tough guy act. It's about what's happening inside you. Catch you in the next one.